selv. Can you, can you hear me? Yes, it's okay? Very happy to be here. Um, would it be possible to generate a report in the past at a given value date? First time I heard that question from the domain expert, I thought it will, it will be much more easier than we experience after that. So yeah, with uh, even sourcing, you can get back in time, like a time machine, you know? Get your state, uh, business object, aggregate, whatever you call it, uh, at the state it was, and see, rebuild your, your report. Yeah, of course. Actually, it started um, a few weeks of misunderstanding between us, but also a learning process, a learning journey that I would like to share with you uh, today. Well, my name is Thomas Pierrin. Pierre, hein? Michel. Uh, I'm co-founder of uh, 42 Skills Company with my associate Bruno Bucard. Uh, I've got some obsessions uh, related to use cases, because I think in problem space, because I think we jump too much into the solution space as uh, developers, and and, uh, and so uh, uh, my, my uh, Twitter handle use case driven. Okay, uh, how does it start? First, uh, I remember Bruno called me and said, hey, uh, Thomas, I've got a client that has some needs about getting into the past, doing some stuff. Maybe you can help. Um, he was completely uh, busy with the coaching activity in that company, and he called me, yes, let's create a meeting with them and chat a little bit, say, okay. Uh, first meeting, uh, the client was an asset manager company, so uh, I worked a long time in, in finance, but it was corporate investment banking, and this is kind of different uh, animal, I would say. Asset manager, so uh, what they're saying is, we need to build the instrument referential. We need to build a system that will provide to all the rest of the company and all the other context some information that are related to the instruments. For them, it means funds, shares, and stuff like that. Uh, we need that, but we have a, um, a strong requirement, which is we need to go back in time to understand why we have done some decisions. There are some decisions that look like completely stupid today, and um, we are kind of suffering from a, a retrospective bias, and we would like to know is how was the market, how was our landscape, uh, the, what was the state of the world when we took that decision. So we needed a system enabling uh, stuff like that, but also being able for us to generate reports in the past, as, uh, as he said. Well, I, I was like Bruno, I said, okay, uh, it seems like even sourcing may help in some case, so yes, why not? So they didn't fully aware of event sourcing, so who uh, is uh, completely aware of event sourcing in that uh, room? I guess it's much more an uh, arm calibration exercise because we are DDD Europe, but uh, okay. So I, I was saying something like very simple, like remember your booking account? You know, you have some uh, withdrawal deposit, but if you have only one information, which is the amount of money you have on your account, you will be not very comfortable, right? So what you have, it's interesting to be able to recompute that global amount from all those operations all that, uh, that has happened uh, in, in the past. So even sourcing it like that is we, not store, we do not store the state of the world. We store every changes that happened since that situation. Well, every change means a list of events in that uh, kind of uh, system. Okay, so I draw some picture, what is uh, aggregate, common, events, whatever, uh, to try to explain to that because there were um, mostly IT guys and one domain expert in the room, plus Bruno and I. So I try to, 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 to explain that in motion. Uh, I've got here, uh, I need a fund, a fund, sorry. You will see some French translation because they are all speaking French. This is the only finance company that I know where they are talking in French, but whatever, it's their language, so we, I have to, to, to respect that. So uh, fund repository, get, please me, get me the fund at that projection date, which is uh, now, for instance, so please, repository, provide me the phone at that projection date. Now, a phone for, for here will be a kind of simple animal. It's a phone, it has ID, name, uh, what do we have, creation date, management company and shares, a list of shares, all right? So, 
even source system like this, when I need to get that uh, business object, that aggregates, what I do is to get a stream of events and apply them, apply every one of them uh, in sequence. So first event is a form created, super yield, so it's a dot on the, on the timeline here. And when I apply that event on my business object, it uh, makes the, um, it's apply, it changes the state with those values. Okay, so it's apply creation date, name, etc. Then I've got a new event management company assign. The management company is BNP in that case. So you see there is only one change here, it's BNP in your range. Okay? Uh, and then another event, found renamed. So the name has changed. Uh, before it was super yield and now it's yield 22. So, uh, okay, and so on and so on. Here we add a share, share added, etc. Okay? Okay, for everyone, for those that are not aware of event sourcing. So at the end of the day, at the given projection date, I stop to play even that may be after and I get that, uh, that uh, aggregate. So here, this is the fund projected at now. Okay, projection is deriving a state from a list of events. In, for, in functional, it's left, what we call left fold. You take all the events and you uh, apply every one of them to uh, have a, a, a state at the end. Okay, pick the projection date as you want, as I explained to them. Here, the phone in uh, April 1st. Uh, so I take the uh, event stream, I apply all the events, and I stop April 1st, uh, and then, Every event that I've been stored after, I won't apply them, I won't play. Uh, so the uh, instance will remaining without share. Here, you can see there is no share, which was the last event we have. Okay? So, they seems to understood, but they wanted to understand how, what looks like some uh, code in that kind of model. How does it look like? They were kind of uh, used with CRUD, CRUD application, create, update, delete. Uh, storing the state of the world without so much behaviors, purely data. Uh, but okay, I, I said, okay, uh, after the, that whiteboard session, I can code you a demo and to show you some code. So let's take uh, another meeting in one week or two, whatever, and let's do that. So they say, okay. So I get back at home and I um, code one day and a half uh, a tiny uh, demo. Uh, for the second meeting. So the most complicated thing for me was to try to embrace their language because there were some uh, people not IT in the room also, so uh, I would to uh, embrace um, as much as possible their, their language. So Investopedia, stuff, stuff like that. And ta-da, demo, okay. Demo, it was a kind of a console application, very simple, two stage, two, two steps. One step is a playground. Time for them to create a phone, to rename, to provide names, to add shares, to do tons of stuff, some action, some commands. And uh, once they have done with that, uh, time machine session. They can pick the version they want from what they just achieved within that uh, console application. So they started to create a phone, whatever. I simulated events like a regulator ask you to uh, change the currency of the phone to a Chinese currency or stuff like that in red. That makes them laugh. And at the end of the, at the, end of the session, they can pick the version they want. And I just displayed the two strings of the, of the POC, uh, of the demo aggregate in, in yellow. Saying, uh, and so the kind of time machine. But uh, the idea was here to, 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 to display the code. But be, we, because there is not uh, only developers in the room, we need to introduce uh, something like uh, more realistic or functional. So it has raised some interest, but they say, okay, interesting, but it raised tons of questions. So very, and everyone has some questions at a very intense uh, meeting. First one, can we produce a report in the past at a given value date? Of course, with even sourcing can get back in the past, no, no, no. Can we fix the past? <laughs> I was looking at Bruno. Is it a trap? Is it a joke? Uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, what, can you please explain me uh, what you need about fixing the past? Why do you want to do that? Uh, yes, because it's our day, bread and butter. Okay, can you, well, so we didn't have too much time, so, um, Try to say, uh, I never managed to do so, but uh, 
Let me, let me investigate and get back to you after on, on that. I, I'll park the question. Can we schedule events in the future? Um, an event is a fact. This is something that has happened. We, we may find some solution, but uh, as of now, I never managed to do some... So yes, but let's, let's think about it uh, further. Okay. What about performances? Okay, but, uh, what are your concerns? Uh, uh, could we search all instruments matching a bunch of properties? I want their uh, company uh, starting with a name like this. I want a bunch of properties, but at a given date. In less than a second, or, uh, I said, ah, for, <laughs> we need, yeah, let's do a, a proof of concept huh? right now. I won't uh, do, I won't provide estimates, I won't, no, no, let's do, <laughs> let's do a proof of concept all together. And since you have concerns, let's take your data. Let's do a, a short proof of concept, taking all your production data, uh, without the real names, huh? we changed some, some stuff for security reasons, and let's simulate, generate tons of events for every one of your existing funds, shares, or whatever. It's important for, for you. And uh, let's try to, to, to stress the, the, the system. Okay for you? Okay, so we decided to start a POC. Um, two weeks POC, with, uh, I pair with one of their tech leads. We pair a program during two, two weeks. And we ended some difficulties. Chapter two, this is obvious. Why don't you understand? That was basically the message we get during that, uh, those two weeks. First things first, when I start a project, I discover a topic, I, I do an event storming session, so I won't explain here in detail the event storming. The wall is the timeline, you think about what happened, uh, what has value for the domain, uh, experts or domain events, and, and you try to avoid technical stuff, uh, if your domain is not technical, I guess. Um, so we discover uh, a few things, and I had three questions in mind when we, uh, we uh, were doing that. First question, how many contexts are involved? They were saying that this system should be in connection with all the company. I would like to, to, to know where we are uh, in, in, in that landscape. Second, why do they need to fix the past? That was intriguing me. I would like to, to know why. Third, scheduling event in the future. Yes, but what for? What, what is your need and stuff like that? So first question, how many contexts are involved? I translate in, in, in English, but basically they are legal and prospectus. They have middle office referential, the guys for uh, which we are working uh, as a first end user. Uh, corporate action, the people uh, dealing with the corporate action on their instruments, marketing, sales, risk and controls, portfolio management, distribution, uh, accounting, basically it's the entire company all the contexts you can imagine uh, about uh, that kind of, uh, of company. But uh, there is some interesting. Um, why do they need to fix the past? Because where I come from, I used to call golden source. We used to call golden source something that was the starting point uh, for the, the reality of a, of a data uh, in terms of referential. So here, I understood that the middle office officer, uh, the guy was, uh, was uh, planning to, to, to do with that uh, tool, um, catch up every time what happened inside and outside the company. Actually, they are trying to catch up what happened uh, outside uh, in the market. So they didn't have the news the D-Day. Uh, they have to catch up the system. And if possible, they have to fix what the system is able to, to produce for their report and stuff like that. And also inside, inside. An interesting relationship in that uh, context map was the relationship between the league wall and the prospectus. League wall and prospectus were the guys uh, defining the, the product and asking to the regulator, can we sell that kind of product? Yes, et cetera, et cetera. And um, producing the uh, kind of cahier uh, des uh, charges, I don't know how to say, but a require, um, description of the, of the fund. And those are the guys uh, on the middle office referential. So they were kind of um, downstream. And basically, they were supporting uh, whatever uh, changed from the legal, uh, they have to catch up. The relationship was not so good. 
Uh, so they have to have the information somehow, some ways. There is official ways and non-official ways. But they have to catch up, meaning that they always have to fix their view of the world within that tools. OK? So scheduling event in the future, they, they told us that uh, some changes are known uh, long before, and they don't want to miss it. And since they didn't have any kind of scheduling, agenda, planification, something like that, they used to forget to declare the phone uh, launch it, the D-Day, uh, because it is often something that we know a long time before. So they needed some kind of uh, capability to do stuff and to uh, take stuff into account uh, in, in the future. OK, patching the past. Scheduling event in the future. Mm, I was asking myself, even first thing, is it still appropriate to do such kind of thing, or am I going to turn, turn apart the, the model for something that is not fit for? So I has asked the community and some friends, do you think it's uh, re relevant to do so? And uh, three of them has answered, Jeremy Chassin, uh, Greg Young, and Thomas Jascula. Thomas has, has joined my team since. Um, and they all tell me yes, yes. Greg sent me a, 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 a link to a post he has written uh, a few years ago from now, where he was saying a retroactive event, the answer is yes. Even sourcing works very well with this type of systems. OK, I'm much more comfortable. There are some challenges, uh, modeling, also implementation, but uh, the specialists on the field say that it's, uh, it's OK. OK. Within this post, Greg didn't explain in detail uh, some track of imp implementation, but he talked about uh, Azov and Azat projection mode. So, as of projection mode is as we should have known. So it includes patch, patches, retroactive events. You know, In that mode, if I project a, a business object on aggregate using that projection mode, I should see whatever I would like to fix uh, in that vision of the world. So as of, as we should have known. As that, it's much more as we knew at the time. It's much more for audit trail purpose, uh, thing like that. So with those two projection modes, I should be able to, um, yeah, to model my system and to implement some, uh, some stuff. Cool. Two weeks after, we made a demo. So uh, we didn't want to invest. We were two guys. Uh, we didn't want to learn a new stack, etc. So we used what they are used to do. It was WinForm application. So, uh, uh, OK, uh, we implement that screen where they can Google uh, in their entire um, uh, data. So these are all the fund and shares and whatever they, they, they have in production with, uh, with slightly change some name and some information. Um, so you can change something, and it was very straightforward. And we have a kind of uh, details of the phone uh, with uh, here are some properties like the name, the shares, etc. Here's the list of all events we have been created. Since it was a proof of concept, we generate, most of our time was to find a way to generate um, relevant uh, sequence of events for a uh, real existing thing. But the event we didn't have, so we have to generate only to, to simulate uh, the system. So uh, it, we, can, uh, we were able to change the projection mode as of uh, as we should have known, as that, as we knew, uh, picking a date, etc., etc. And the search engine was there uh, was one my real concern about the performances of the system, and we were very pleased because in less than 200 milliseconds for the entire uh, scope of the of the of the company with a bunch of events, uh, it was uh, yes straightforward. So cool. And one of the uh, domain experts was uh, in the room. He was a mix between IT guy and domain expert, you know? He was saying, okay, it's interesting, but um, can we produce a report in the past at a given value date? Uh, yes, uh, for the search engine, you see, we, we take into account the past, and uh, when you are in front of the form with, uh, with the phone, you can pick your date, change uh, uh, so we can produce a report from that point? Uh, no, no, I think 
but can we produce a report in the past, but at a given value date. Okay, there is an implicit like this within that. We will see in, in, a, in a few minutes, but say, oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, I don't understand. Clearly, I'm, I'm sorry, do you, I don't understand. Uh, in, in some cases like that, I used to ask some example. Basically, I was asking examples since the beginning, but the guy was very um, busy, and he didn't have the time to, to provide us some example, concrete example. So, a search example, but also an appropriate model to be able that we are sharing the same understanding of, uh, of what we uh, are working on. So, in terms of model, while the guy was trying to find some time to provide us a, a real example, uh, I found that uh, it's a timeline, okay, with dates here like this, uh, and three kind of events. So, to represent a classic event, it's simply a dot on the timeline at a given date, okay? Uh, retroactive event, it's a dot, but with, uh, every event has two timestamps in our systems. First one is created at, the time where we create the event, we have seized the event in the system. And the uh, other timestamp is uh, valid from, it's at the end of the arrow. So this is a retrospective, uh, retroactive event, so it has been created on the right, here, and it want to change the past, targeting that valid application date uh, in the past. And, come along. yes, for, for the event in the future, forecasting events, actually, uh, the, the trick was to consider that, uh, actually, I schedule the execution of a command in the future. This is an event. The event is to, I just schedule the execution of a command in the, in, in the future. So in that case, the created at uh, is on the left, this is the starting point, and we target something in the, in the future. Valid from uh, timestamp is uh, superior and after the created at timestamp. Okay for everyone? Yeah? So, classic event like this, uh, from created, uh, January 1st created at timestamp, and January 1st valid from timestamp. Okay, simple dot. This one, uh, it was from renamed, um, created at uh, June 3rd, second, sorry, and uh, valid from, application date in April, earlier. And same thing for command schedule, you see? So, with such model, we were able to elaborate some um, advanced uh, examples, trying to find some uh, exception, corner cases, uh, and to, enf to enforce that we understood all well the, the same thing. I was very happy to have said, because uh, even during our discussion and whiteboard session, it was very um, complicated to understand. There are so many details, so with that model, it was uh, very helpful to, to understand, to try to understand. Now we have a model. Let's try to find an example. And we workshop a lot. We do lots of whiteboard session with the as at, as of uh, mods. Uh, so let's take some example. How to read that? In red, it's what we expect to see at the corresponding projection date. So here, the I is saying it's a first name. On April 1st, the date on the bottom here, the, our vision of the font is first name. Uh, and the bunch of events, a dot on the, on the timeline, okay? So let's take some example. As that, as we knew at the time, this is basically uh, the audit trail use case. As we knew at the time. Uh, we create, so this is a timeline. Here we create the, an event, January 1st, where we create an event and we provide it a first name. It's a stupid example, but uh, first name. Then, April 1st, we didn't knew that the uh, font has been renamed uh, to patch name. Patch name is a new name, it's uh, on the arrow. We didn't knew that, so uh, the projection mode should uh, return us the result uh, first name. If we project our font on the April 1st in that projection mode, we should see first name as the name of the, of the, of the font. Still okay? Yeah? Are you sleeping or? No, it's okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, then, when we patch, the day we patch, on June 2nd, we have to take into account the fact that the font has uh, changed its name. So, from the June 2nd uh, date, the name of the font is not a first name anymore, it's patch name. And then, so, so on, so on. Uh, 
So in the, the, the patch, we must take into account, but at the creation, uh, the creation date here. But not in any all, all, all case. So let's take a corner case uh, here, a corner case two. Here we have a first name we are create, created because we didn't knew yet that the font has been renamed to patch name at that date. Uh, then there is a, a new uh, font renamed event, which is official name that time. Okay, so the name is official name. And then June 2nd, we realize that we have made a mistake, we forgot to, to, to do something, we forgot to uh, rename the phone uh, to patch name uh, in the past. But in that case, since official name appeared after, we should not cancel official name with, uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, a name uh, earlier. So the answer should be official name, and we should not apply the, uh, the um, patch name in that case. Still okay? Yeah, cool. As of the new, the other, uh, the other uh, stuff. As as we should have known, our main usage is uh, this is our main usage here. So it's it's patch uh, involved. So here, in as of projection mode, uh, on April first, we should we, we should have known that the name was patch name. So the projection must return that value to us. Okay. Um, Another example here, um, as we should have known, okay, it's patch name, and patch name is not discarded in that case by the following one, and we have the official name after, but it's replaced as soon as we create official name, but it takes, uh, the, it, this is a new value for the, for the phone, and, and that's it. So we were kind of very happy with our model and our examples, so we asked the domain expert, the very busy guy, uh, pretty cool, right? You still don't get my pod. No, you still don't get my pod. Mm -hmm. So we're reaching a point where we needed desperately a concrete example. We tried to figure out uh, on our own, but no, that's what, not possible uh, anymore. So finally, he, he sent me that. He sent me an email. So it's in French. I, I tried to translate to you. Uh, there were some dates, so it's date, value dates. And he was saying, basically, when I did my report June 1st with March 1 as value date, which name did I pick? And he said, below, the answer is name 2. I didn't grasp everything immediately, but at least I was very happy because now I can rephrase. I can try to rephrase it. I can try to, to, to understand and to rephrase. So I tried to rephrase the first time. I said, OK. I want to be able to find the status of a phone as we should have known March 1st. If I apply all the patches created until the date of the report. In the past too, June 1st. He said, yes. Okay, still complicated, huh? right? But he said, yes. Oh, cool. Let me try to simplify uh, one more time. Um, I want to be able to generate a report for a phone at a given date, March 1st. But putting me in the same state of knowledge that would have been mine on June 1st, meaning all patches created until that, that uh, June 1st. Say yes. Cool. Let me try to simplify a little bit more because uh, our days were kind of pish. Uh, how did the phone look like March 1st if we had asked ourselves that question on June 1st? Yes, exactly. Cool. So express in our model. How does it look like? How did the phone look like March 1st? So March 1st is here. If we ask ourselves that question on June 1st, June 1st is here, okay? So we, I realized that um, the reporting date, June 1st, were a kind of viewpoint for the state of the world that I have to work on. So to produce a report with the projection date March 1st, I have to avoid to apply every event, every dot, after that viewpoint line. You see? It's like a perspective, uh, discarding all that has been created as patch after that uh, moment. So how did the phone look like March 1st? If I had asked of, of this question on June 1st, that was basically the, the way we represent it, and that allowed us to, to understand. So that brings us two new concepts in that model. 
concept of viewpoint that arrange a line, and a new type of projection, the as of until projection mode. And the as of until is asking a viewpoint, of course. Before that, we have uh, only uh, the identifier of a fund and a projection date. That's it. And now we have a projection date, but also a viewpoint date. OK, let's code it to validate. So sorry, it's not very readable here. It was our first acceptance test uh, just after the session. Should not apply retroactive events created after the viewpoint. That was what we were. So we uh, create a, 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 an event fun created, fun created uh, with a created at February, created at, and valid from February. So it's a standard event. Okay? Then we create a retroactive event. We rename, for renamed event uh, with name two and created at February 3rd and uh, valid from the day before, retroactive event. And then this was the event to be discarded. Uh, so we created in July, uh, July 1st and uh, application date February 28th. So before the, the date for the, for the report. Okay, so. If I call the repository asking, please get me the phone uh, by ID as of until with a projection date March 1st and viewpoint date June 1st, what should I do? What should I see? <coughs> yeah, but what will be the result of the name? Which name? Yeah, name 2, yes, absolutely. So check that uh, name of the phone is name two because June 1st we didn't knew that the phone has been renamed February 28th. That thing we discover that in the future on July. Okay. Cool. We have a model. We have an example. Our model was working. We um, validate also the command scheduled in the, in the future. So the POC was a success, and we decided to launch the project. Cool. Last chapter, uh, open questions and track of improvements. Events are used to restore and to change uh, the state of, your, uh, of our aggregates. Okay? And commands are used to take decisions, to call business logic, and then that business logic will, uh, will take some decision, and, and the result of those decisions will raise some events. Okay. Events are facts, and commands may fail. Everyone follow? It's following? Yeah? So, what should I do with retroactive? A, apply a retroactive command to an aggregate that has been projected in the past. So I, I project the aggregate in the past, and on that instance, I play a command. And that command may fail or may succeed. And if it succeeds, usually it raises some events that I will have to save for that valid from date. Or should I create event in the past for an aggregate? Because events are fact. Uh, why should I avoid something that has happened in the real world? So, or answer C. <laughs> who, is, uh, who agree with uh, answer A? OK. Who agrees with answer B? OK. Who is agree with the answer C? <laughs> There are religious people in the room. <laughs> answer C, yes. Should <laughs> no. no, yes. The answer is answer C. There is no civil bullet, of course. And uh, I said this is use case uh, oriented. It depends on, on your use case. Um, we had some use case where basically most of our use case uh, follow the, the implementation A. Let's imagine you want to change um, some characteristics for the phone, and some of them are um, on, on some of their parts. So uh, uh, a phone may have been added some parts or removed some parts. So maybe a phone may start with, uh, I, I don't know, 10 parts. And then uh, six months after, we create uh, six new parts uh, and, and things like that. So if you want to apply to the proper shares uh, at the proper date, we have to figure out which shares were related to that phone at that time. So we have to, 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 to uh, be able to execute some business logic uh, in a state that is uh, matching to the, to, the, to the date. So these are uh, um, 
main, or most use cases. But in some cases, it's something that is uh, happening from the outside world. You know exactly what you have to change. You know exactly what happened. So in that case, it's a simple event. We won't take the risk to, uh, to, uh, yes, to fail uh, by executing a command. So there are some cases where that uh, option is, uh, seems more relevant. That's it. So there is no silver bullet. Uh, regarding implementation, so far we pick a very simple implementation, which is forward only. Uh, projection mechanism, meaning that we take a stream of events and we play all events in that order. We never get back in time to, to have some information. So we have a projection uh, mode and a filter, uh, as that filter, as a filter, as of until filter. And the filter is basically saying for every event regarding the context, should we apply yes or no? And then uh, we restore the aggregate with the list of uh, applicable uh, events. But we go straight forward, forward only. Um, it's, it's very interesting because um, it was simple at first, and uh, it worked with our use case. And uh, also for the read model projections, which has a much more data than uh, for, uh, simply for one aggregate. Uh, this forward only uh, avoid us to have some caches and, and to, to resort uh, uh, on the entire perimeter, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So we have three projection filters, as at, as of, and as of until. So depending on the use case, uh, we pick uh, one of those three. Uh, there may be some track of improvement. So, uh, we can imagine, uh, okay, I can sort all the events, then I apply them. It may be a strategy. I get all the events, I sort them first, and then I apply the timeline, uh, rebuild it timeline. Maybe uh, an option. Or we can rebase timeline. We can imagine m uh, various timelines and kind of a git rebase. We, we end up with one, one timeline from, uh, from, from various. Maybe an implementation track of improvement. Um, Jeremy Chassin was speaking with me and with us a few months ago, and he was saying you should have a look at CRDT uh, data structure. Uh, so yeah, maybe, uh, maybe this is something that we may have a look on. And I think Romeo Mora, that was here, uh, said that you should have a look at topological trees, because in some cases, a change in the past may, behave, may be force you to rebuild an entire uh, section of, your, of what happened. Uh, here it's simple with a name, changing name, a new name replaces another one, but if it's numerical values, uh, like amount or stuff like that, uh, maybe fixing a numerical value in the past must force you to fix the accountability or the, uh, account uh, no, accountancy, sorry. Uh, should, uh, should be able to force you to recompute some, some of the results and raising new events, patching uh, the previous one, etc. So topological trees may be, uh, may be helpful. Okay. Well, basically it's enough for today, uh, but before we leave, I have to confess something. Everything was fine until uh, last week. <laughs> reason why I was not very comfortable at, at the beginning of the, of the, the conference, because uh, our business told us two new things. First one is we want to be able to advance the creation date of aggregates. Okay. Yes, but with, with our forward-only strategy, very simple, etc. It's uh, okay. Uh, so we think about it, uh, a quick workaround, maybe to have a, a new stream. For every aggregate, to have the official stream, and a new stream with uh, creation date, so events, like that. First thing, our projection mode is taking the last uh, creation date uh, event on that uh, dedicated uh, uh, stream. And then, if it has found one, uh, it use that when he, he plays the first uh, event of the official line. Well, maybe. Why not? Um, the business say, okay, we should change the creation date of some events when we change it for others. What? We should 
change the crash and death of some event when we change it for others. So there is a kind of relationship between events and uh, yes, of course. Okay. Let's do an event storming or let's do whatever <laughs> storming or whatever. Okay, we have to, to, to investigate that. So I just have to left the team to, to, to go to that conference. So I don't have really time to think and to process everything with the team. And, uh, but uh, this is a kind of major breakthrough in our, in our model and our, in our design. Um, so be it. But uh, we'd like to, yes, maybe it's time to reinvent our model. Maybe to reconsider it completely. Maybe our model will be multiple timelines and uh, like a rebase. Uh, Uh, version, for instance, for the implementation. I don't know. We, we have to dig a little bit further. We have to understand what is in stake in those two uh, new requests. But for sure, we will have to change some, some stuff. So um, to wrap up, concrete example and model can save your bacon. Without finding that kind of representation for any whiteboard session, etc., I, I can ask, I would have been nuts because we couldn't manage to understand ourselves. It was very complicated. People were speaking very quickly, providing tons of dates, uh, this is abuse, this is abuse, etc. So having a way to, to when the domain expert was explaining something to draw the model corresponding to what he just said and to fix it, if, uh, if we misunderstood, was, uh, yes, was key, uh, was a must. But models are living creatures, and breakthrough in, is not a myth. Uh, I already explained that in previous projects. When you start with a model, and then you, you raise your uh, maturity, the, matur the level of the discussion you have with the domain experts, and, and, and you improve your understanding of the, of the problem. And in that case, yes, in some, ha in some cases, you, you have to either break everything or to find a new concept. Maybe uh, there is a new aggregate that we didn't grasp uh, so far that may able to answer the relationship between events and, and things like that. I don't know yet, but uh, yes, breakthrough is not a miss. Uh, <coughs> there is a white paper ongoing uh, about that topic uh, regarding the implementation details and tons of other stuff like uh, Uh, I, I won't have time to talk about it, but the most complicated thing in that project was the synchronization with the legacy. Since we are a new system targeting to replace a legacy system, the CRUD one, um, how to get all the creation date, for instance, of the, of the existing. In, in that CRUD model, um, there are a model in, in databases, and depending on the year the data set or the row has been saved, the signification of every field changed. I don't know if you already experienced that. Kind of classical in legacy system, but in that case, the uh, first aspiration, the first uh, uh, let's get the production data and put into our system was, a, I would say, an iterative process. <laughs> yes. And uh, but that's it for me. Uh, I don't know if we have time for questions, I, I hope. Yeah, yeah? OK. There is a, a microphone that we can uh, throw or something like that. I think there is one question in the uh, first row. You raise your hand immediately. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I was wondering, first amazing uh, talk. Uh, I was wondering how much okay. of the uh, as of leaked uh, from the event store to the model, like who kept uh, when the name field was changed. Was it the model, or did you like, like sorted or buffered the event store? Does that make sense? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure to have uh, you talk about the author, uh, the creation, the uh, the author of the actions and the event, or no? I mean, when you projected, yeah. you you have a few modes of projection, right? Yeah. So let's talk about the one of, as of as like stuff we knew. We should have known. As we should have known. As we should have, should have known. Yeah. So how much of that uh, projection logic was in the model or in the event store? Like ah, who buffered okay. the events? It, was it, was it uh, 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 technical stuff located in the technical uh, types and, 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 and section? And, or was it a domain part? Exactly. Uh, 
basically, I think we, we've made like uh, filters. We have a technical uh, uh, thing which is um, asking a filter. And the implementation filter, I think we put it in, in the domain. I'm not sure. It has changed. We, we changed. It's a, it's a project that is four months. Uh, we are four in, in, in a team, four months. Is. Uh, it's uh, changing, blazing fast. In my memory, the last version was uh, uh, the, um, the, 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 the repository, is an even source backed repository, and is, is rely on uh, on an event store interface. And uh, the repository decides which, uh, which uh, filter it will, uh, it will have to, 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 to use, depending on the use case. But I think uh, very soon you will be, we will have the, the white paper, uh, so uh, you will, we will describe that, uh, those, those details. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I have a, a doubt. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You have to... Okay. Um, this question is about even storage and snapshotting. Did you have any conflicting situations when you wanted to get the as of perspective with the snapshotting? We didn't have to snapshot so far. Okay. So what about problem solved? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. No, we don't have. Yeah, we don't have. You don't feel the need of snapshotting things. Uh, I had a discussion with Jeremy Chassin. It was very interesting. That he was basically telling me, you have to think about the validation, the, dura the duration of uh, your uh, aggregates and even stream, of your even stream. Mm -hmm. uh, so it has to be a design decision. This is, something, this is not something you create and you say, okay, I, I create a, a line which is a, be a stream of event and let's see what happens. You have to think about the, vali the, the validity of, of, the of the event of a stream. You have to, to design your streams with that in mind. Well, I think it was very smart to try to achieve that. But so far, it's really actually it's uh, four months, and we have uh, we started with a regulatory constraint, MIFID two, uh, and we had to uh, go into production in less than a month with that MIFID two. And the first iteration was here to simply to not to validate the even sourcing stuff, uh, but to validate our uh, ability to synchronize with the, with the legacy and to, to interact with Web API, with legacy, and the legacy ask us back some MIFID 2 information to generate uh, official reports. So we are at the very beginning of the, of, the, of the process. We have met tons of stuff during the proof of concept. Actually, I said two weeks. The first uh, two weeks were for the demo, and then the demo raised other questions. So we, we, we continue that proof of concept during, I would say, th three weeks after. And during those three weeks, we have been tested uh, tons of things that are not in production yet. So you mostly tested the, uh, the concept? You didn't have any performance issues or bottlenecks as of now? No, we, uh, so far, I'm, I'm coming from an investment banking background with low latency system, basically system taking decision in less than one or five milliseconds, end to end from, from the company. So I'm really, uh, I was a performance addict, but I, I will never uh, do impro performance improvement without measuring it. It's, it's a rule for me. It's you, you measure uh, and, and, you, and you improve if you did because uh, it's, it's a never ending story to improve a system. So, and and the, the last meters, uh, last miles or whatever are very uh, costly. So we will see. We, we started to put some probes and to, to measure our thing. So far it's okay from a u end user perspective and we are uh, um, being more and more mature for, for the uh, monitoring uh, of the platform. But Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.